Hey, good morning, folks. It's uh, J.P. Murray here. I'm actually at the uh, Renaissance Hotel in Washington, D.C., which if you haven't been there, association execs, they did a renovation, I don't know, a couple years ago. I might give you a few screenshots. Place is, is actually quite nice, uh, uh, a great update from what it used to be. Hey, I've got five things, five, for entrepreneurs and association leaders today. Things that I wish I would have known before and I might have changed the way I uh, the way I acted or the way I responded. Number one is, man, I tell you what, for you entrepreneurs, I would have started a business about 10 years prior. You know, I did it when I was about 45 years old, but it was something that was burning in me for a very long time. I wish I would have started this business much sooner. I had the capacity, I had the fire in my belly, and if you have that burning inside you, man, go for it. I would, I would encourage you to burn the boats and absolutely go all in to develop your new business. The second thing, um, if I would have known what I know now, is I didn't really know anything about money, and I'm still learning about it. I had one money solution, and that was make more. That was just to make more money. But now that I realize that you never can make enough, um, when I realize about compounding interest, about asset allocation, about investing, and about saving, those are the things that are actually quite more important than just a larger paycheck. I wish I would have known and I would have studied money more because I think some people get intimidated by the concept of money and frankly some folks in the financial industry, or not the financial industry, but some people do that on purpose, uh, so possibly they could take advantage of you. But there's some great organizations now out there and associations that are educating people about money and retirement, whether it's IRI, whether it's FSI, AICPA. Man, I shout out to them to cons to con their efforts to uh, to help the consumer on learning more about money. That's the second thing. The number three thing is I would have been more candid. What I mean by that, there were times that I knew that our businesses were maybe making the wrong steps or taking the wrong uh, steps forward. I wish I would have been more candid and uh, frankly open about concerns or things that I think would have made the business better even at a younger age. And now that I've started to run my business, I wish I could be a bit more I'm open to that candid feedback. Sometimes when you're running the company and your name's on it, and you know we promote the big red M a lot, um, you start thinking, you start getting defensive about criticism, and that's something that I want to work on. Number four, I wish I would have started to study leadership at an earlier age, because here's what I've learned. Organizations and their opportunities are limited by leadership. Now, the converse side, in fact, if I look at the great organizations I work for and those that were frankly mediocre, it was because of the leadership at the top. Um, now, the, the, the upside of that is leadership, great leadership is also the opportunity. And you can always learn about it. There's so many tools and resources available to you. The final thing, the final thing that I would have want, uh, that I wanna mention is, um, recognition, if I have known this before, recognition that you are much more in control of your destiny than you think. Your reaction to either adversity or opportunity is frankly up to you. Any stimulus that happens and your reaction is your decision in between there. So there's, you've had the stimulus, you have your ability and your awareness and self-awareness on how you want to react than the action that you take. If I would have recognized that at an earlier age, I think uh, I would have overcome a lot of adversity and problems that may be a little bit better. Those are the five, those are five, there's a lot more, but those are five things that I wish I would have known before uh, I became uh, an adult or a 51-year-old man now that I am now. I hope it's helpful for you association leaders and uh, you entrepreneurs out there. Hey, I hope you have a fantastic day. Uh, this is J.P. Murray from Washington, D.C. for the Murray Company. Hey, thanks for joining us today. Bye-bye.